I'm not as nervous as last time, so that's a good thing. Uh, so I'm also running for the vice president of CSA. And one of the reasons I'm running for vice president is because I feel that I'm, I'm confident in my job that I would be able to be vice president. Um, watching my friend Keith do it this year and seeing what he had to go through, the trials and tribulations and so forth, I'm very proud of him, but I also feel that I'd be able to do the job as he did it. I'm not going to say better because he did do a very good job as vice president. Um, as vice president, you have to be able to stretch yourself. Um, you have your own tasks to do, but your job there is to be able to help out everybody. You have to be able to help plan events, help with the budget, um, do whatever the president delegates to you for you to do, um, and be able to spread yourself rather thin, but also be able to manage your time and be able to help out everybody and, and yourself. I put everything else into the other speech, so. Okay, thank you. No problem, no problem, no problem. So, as vice president, how, you, how will you maintain a balance between following the guidance of the president and instilling your own sense of leadership? Okay, well, being able to follow, like, being able to follow the president and then instilling my own sense of leadership, I have to be able to work with the president on a level to where they see us as, okay, this is the president, this is the vice president, but okay, whatever the vice president says doesn't matter. Um, so being able to work with the president closely and having that connection with them to where that we can work together um, and be on that same level of understanding is a way to instill <coughs> yourself. Okay. Um, and what do you feel is the biggest challenge that leaders face in today's society? Uh, one of the, no, no. Uh, one of the biggest challenges I feel that leaders um, face in this society now is that they forget Sometimes you get up here, you say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and I'm going to be for CSA and everything. And then you get the position, you kind of like dwindle. And you lose your focus and what you're really up here to do. You forget that it's not just about you or your position or the title that you now carry, but it's about your organization and the people that are looking up to you to be that leadership and that guidance. So I feel like the, the challenge they face is losing their, their way, per se, their um, motivation. Thank you. And here we are. What's up, Vida?